Okay, so we've now looked at several examples of indefinite integrals using the method of integration by substitution. I'm now going to look at a couple of examples of definite integrals, so ones that have limits on the integrals, and see what we've got to do to deal with these. Okay, so there's going to be an added step. However, um, they're all going to start in exactly the same way. So all the examples that I've looked at have always started with writing down u and then finding du by dx. So u in this case is x squared plus 1. du by dx will be 2x. So du will be 2x dx multiplying both sides by dx and then dividing both sides by the 2x. Uh, du is equal to dx. Now, um, let's see. So now the, we've got this added problem of the limits. The problem is, well, we're currently integrating between 0 and 2 with respect to x, so along the x-axis. However, we're now integrating over the u-axis. So, in actual fact, we need values for u, not x. So, in order to do that, we need to change the limits. Now, there are two schools of thought about this. There will be videos online that won't do it this way, okay? But I prefer to teach it this way because it can... Um, minimize mistakes later on. Okay, so I change the limits. So when x is 0, or when x is 2, sorry, let's start with x is 2. When x is 2, u is equal to 2 squared plus 1. We use this substitution to substitute in 2. So u is equal to 5. So when x is 2, u is 5. And when x is 0, u is equal to 0 squared plus 1, which is 1. So in actual fact, on the u-axis, we're integrating between 1 and 5. So we're now integrating between 1 and 5. 3x, u to the cubed, and dx has been replaced, remember, with 1 over 2x du. Now, you should notice, like in the other examples, we have, in this case, an x and an x can cancel, because we've got x divided by x. We've also got this 3 over 2, which can be brought outside of the integral sign u cubed du. Okay, so this is now a core 1 problem. So we've got 3 halves, remember the notation, square brackets, add 1 to the power, divide by the new power. We've got no constant of integration required here, and we're integrating between 1 and 5. So we substitute in 5 first. So 5 to the 4 over 4, then take away substituting in 1, okay, plug this into your calculator, so we get 5 to the power of 4 uh, over 4, take away a quarter, times by 3, divide by 2 is 234. Okay, so here is an example of using uh, integration by substitution with a change of limits. Um, so make sure that you understand that in order to change the limits, this is why we're doing it, because we're now integrating over the u-axis and not the x-axis. Okay, so let's look at another example. Uh, so we can see it again. Reiterate the issue. Um, 
Ooh, what should we integrate this time? Um, let's have the integral of um, hmm. thinking, thinking. Let's have the integral of five uh, x over x squared plus three between um, zero and one dx. Okay, so here's another one. Um, this is once again one that you could use uh, doing the uh, log trick, backwards chain rule. Okay, so u in this case is x squared plus 3, so du by dx is 2x, so multiply both sides by dx, divide both sides by 2x, Okay, so you should start to get quite quick at that process. Um, now we've got to change the limits. So we've currently got an x-axis uh, between 0 and 1. And we want um, a u-axis. So when x is 0, u is equal to 0 squared plus 3, so 3. And when x is 1, u is equal to 1 squared plus 3, which is 4. So we're now integrating between 3 and 4, not 0 and 1. 5x over u. And dx was replaced with 1 over 2x du. Once again, you should start to spot the cancellation. So x over x. The, um, we've got a 5 over 2 here, so that can be brought outside of the integral sign. Of 1 over u du. So 1 over u integrates to log u evaluated between 3 and 4. So this is 5 halves log 4 take away log 3, which is 5 halves of log. Now remember, those two can be combined using the uh, log law. So we can write as log of 4 thirds. So 5 halves log 4 thirds. And that is another example of integrating by substitution with a definite integral with a change of limits. Okay?